Welcome to the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Kasim Ali. The Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defense over the week. In our highlights tonight, Ministry of Defense conducts tree growing exercise. Change of guard at the defense headquarters. Rescue efforts on my Mahiu tragedy. Inspecting Kasarani renovations. Handing the baton at the Military Wives Association of Kenya. And in sports, Kenya Defense Forces Athletic Championships wraps up at Ulinzi Sports Complex. To start us off, the civilian and military leadership of the Ministry of Defense, led by Honorable Aden Duale, Cabinet Secretary for Defense, and Chief of Defense Forces General Charles Kahariri, has today participated in different areas of the Republic of Kenya in a tree planting exercise in line with the national strategy to address climate change. Both the civilian and military components at the ministry participated in the exercise held in various parts of the country as part of the concerted effort to contribute to the ambitious national goal of His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, of planting 15 billion trees by 2032. Take a look. Honorable Aden Duale, accompanied by Kenya Military Academy Commandant, Major General Al Faxad Kyugu and Director of Medical Services Major General George Nganga planted over 60,000 seedlings and seeds balls in Sururu Forest in Nakuru County. The KDF fraternity and locals drawn from Nakuru region were involved. It's with pride and determination that I stand before you today to speak on behalf of the Kenya government particularly regarding our ambitious campaign to plant and nurture 15 billion trees by the year 2032. This initiative, which is spearheaded under the visionary leadership of our Commander-in-Chief, His Excellency President William Ruto, also aligns our international commitments, such as the Paris Agreement, on climate change, the Sustainable Development Goals, the African Landscape Restoration Initiative, and our approach to achieving this momentum task is founded on the principle of inclusivity, a whole of government, a whole of a society approach that beacons the participation, the contribution of each and every citizen of our country from individual citizens to institutions. At the Defense Forces Recruit Training School, General Charles Kahariri, Chief of Defense Forces, accompanied by Lieutenant General David Tarus, the Army Commander, and Major General Jeff Nyaga, General Officer Commanding Western Command, planted 2,000 trees. In his remarks, General Kahariri noted that Defense Forces Recruit Training School has an outstanding history in environmental conservation efforts under the Environmental Soldier Program that has over time planted over 200,000 trees this rain season. He urged the personnel at the institution to continue with the same zeal. In Meru County, Mr. Patrick Mariro, the Principal Secretary for Defense in company of Lieutenant General John Omenda, Vice Chief of Defense Forces, spearheaded a tree planting exercise in Gambela wetlands. During the event, over 10,000 trees were planted, significantly contributing to the national effort of environmental conservation. It's not about planting tree. It's about planting tree and making it grow, nurturing it so that it can mature. Because planting tree and living is not the issue. Major General Mohammed Nur Hassan, Deputy Army Commander, led KDF troops in planting over 7,000 trees at Langata Garrison, while the General Officer Commanding Eastern Command, Major General Luca Kuto, led the exercise at Vika Barracks, where over 4,000 trees were planted. Deputy Commander Kenya Air Force Brigadier Samuel Kipkorir 
led troops at Moi Air Base Isli to plant over 1,500 trees, while Kenya Navy service personnel planted over 13,000 trees at Dongo Kundu Bridge, led by Commander Kenya Navy Fleet Brigadier Sankale Kiswa. A similar exercise was conducted by all military formations and units across the country. General Charles Muriu Kahariri, the Chief of Defense Forces, was recently received at the Defense Headquarters Nairobi in an elaborate yet unprecedented change of guard ceremony. The event came days after the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces presided over the investiture of ranks and swearing-in of newly promoted and appointed Kenya Defense Forces General Officers at State House Nairobi. Similarly, the Kenya Air Force and the Kenya Navy received their respective commanders in change of guard ceremonies held on Thursday. Take a look. General Kahariri becomes the 12th Chief of Defense Forces, taking over from General Francis Ogola, who passed on following a tragic aircraft accident in Sindar village, Elgeo Marakwet County. The change of guard ceremony at the defense headquarters was held under customary military traditions in which the incoming CDF inspected a guard of honor mounted by Kenya Air Force troops. This was followed by a command flag handover ceremony after inspecting the old and new guard troops in line mounted by soldiers from the Tri-Service. At Moy Air Base, it was a historic moment as Major General Fatuma Ahmed assumed her role as the new commander Kenya Air Force, becoming the first woman to hold such a position in the history of KDF leadership. The change of guard ceremony held at headquarters Kenya Air Force in Nairobi saw Lieutenant General John Omenda pass the baton as he moved into his new position as Vice Chief of Defense Forces. Lieutenant General Omenda praised Major General Ahmed's appointment and emphasized the importance of supporting her leadership for mission success. He urged them to maintain professionalism and integrity in all endeavors, emphasizing the significance of upholding the esteemed reputation of the Kenya Air Force. Similarly, Major General Paul Otieno, the newly appointed Commander Kenya Navy, officially took over the mantle from Major General Thomas Nganga at a ceremony held at the Kenya Navy headquarters. The new commander advised the Kenya Navy personnel to remain committed to their duty of safeguarding Kenya's maritime domain. He urged Kenya Navy service personnel to embrace teamwork, professionalism and integrity while performing duties on board Kenya Navy ships. Prior to the change of guard ceremony, Major General Otieno and Major General Nganga visited personnel at Kenya Navy Base Manda Bay. Major General Otieno takes over from Major General Nganga, who was appointed the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration and Finance at the National Defense University, Kenya. The Chief of Defense Forces, General Charles Kahariri, recently visited the Mai Mai Hu Disaster Recovery Center to assess the ongoing multi-agency efforts following flash floods that led to the loss of lives, displacement of people, and destruction of infrastructure. The Chief of Defense Forces was appraised on the progress of the search and recovery efforts for victims of the Mai Mai Hu tragedy. The Kenya Defense Forces joined the multi-agency team due to the magnitude of the tragedy, deploying its capability to synergize the search and recovery operations. General Kahariri said that the deployment is in line with the secondary role of Kenya Defense Forces, which includes cooperating with other government agencies, especially during emergencies and disasters, to safeguard the lives of Kenyans. He further emphasized that Kenya Defense Forces has deployed various capabilities and is working with the multi-agency teams to support the affected families, including those who have lost their loved ones. Just brought in the capability to be able to assist the NYS that were already on the ground and the county administration and the gov go county government. And uh, this we are doing across the country where we are on standby, as well as uh, capacitating the National Disaster Operations Center where we have uh, seconded uh, uh, Major General Koimo, Brigadier uh, Mutua, who is in charge of this area, in Garissa, in all other parts of the country. He was received by the General Officer Commanding Border Security Command, Major General John Koimo, who is also the National Floods Coordination Center Commander, alongside the Governor of Nakuru, Honorable Susan Kihika. The Maimayu tragedy occurred whereby a tunnel situated on the Ili area of Old Kijabe Road in Kiambu County accumulated water due to blockage along the meter gauge railway and the increased water burst the soaked walls, sweeping households along River Tongi from Kamuchira village through Maimayu. 
we are thankful for having the CDF here because it shows how seriously they are taking this, how seriously they take the lives of Kenyans. And we cannot thank them enough for being here with us, with the NYS and with all the other multi-agencies and our very own here, police and uh, administration and everybody. Still on the Chief of Defense Forces, General Charles Kahariri was at the recruits training school today to observe the preparation of the forthcoming recruits pass out parade. The ceremony, slated for Wednesday 15th May 2024, will be presided over by His Excellency Honorable Dr. William Ruto, President of Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces. The pass out parade marks the culmination of six months of intense training during which the recruits undergo rigorous evaluation, test and assessment in various military disciplines, both individually and in groups. Kenya Navy Operation Okowarafiki continued its mission on day 9 at Madogo Garissa County. On 8 May 2024, a total of 987 individuals were ferried across the flooded road with the team diligently observing maximum safety measures throughout the operation. On Thursday, active boat patrols were conducted in search of missing bodies along the main course of the River Tana. Despite rigorous efforts, no bodies were recovered during today's operation. As the water levels in the area gradually decrease, the access routes for the boats have been limited. However, the Operation Okwa Rafiki remains resolute in its commitment to continue the search for the missing bodies and uphold the safety for those traversing the flooded area. The team will also remain on standby, ready to respond swiftly to any rescue and recovery task that may arise. In other news, Mr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Defense, made a site visit to Kasarani Stadium to assess the progress of renovation works being undertaken by the Kenya Defense Forces in readiness to host the 2027 African Cup of Nations. The Principal Secretary, alongside a team from Sports Kenya, led by Director General Mr. Pius Meto, held a site meeting to update on the progress of renovation works which is on course as per the timeline set. Mr. Mariru emphasized the importance of adhering to the project's timeline and specifications according to the project's bill of quantities, adding that there is no way around it but to deliver as is expected and outlined. The team further toured different project sites under renovation including the football pitch, changing rooms, the roof canopy and the progress of installation of new stadium seats among other areas. The Ministry of Defence through the KDF is tasked to oversee and supervise the renovation of stadium in line with the International Association Football Federation and the Confederation of African Football Standards owing to their efficiency and effectiveness in undertaking the projects on time. Major General Paul Otieno, Commander Kenya Navy and his predecessor, Major General Thomas Nganga, recently paid a visit to Kenya Navy personnel at Kenya Navy Base, Manda Bay in Lamu County. Major General Nganga commended the officers and service members for their continued support throughout his service and expressed trust in the incoming commander's ability and experience, stating that the Kenya Navy will sail to greater heights under his leadership. Major General Nganga also encouraged Kenya Navy officers and service members to cooperate and work closely with the incoming commander, Kenya Navy, providing him with all support he needs to serve diligently while safeguarding the nations against external seaborne aggression. On his part, Major General Otieno pledged full support to the Kenya Navy officers and sailors while assuring maritime security within the Western Indian Ocean. He committed to cooperate with all officers and sailors to navigate the Kenya Navy to greater levels and devoted to ensure moral and welfare of service personnel is guaranteed for effective execution of all allocated duties. Moving on, the Military Wife Association of Kenya held a handing over ceremony of its incoming leaders at the Mwak headquarters office in Nairobi. This followed recent promotions and appointment of general officers by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto, in which General Charles Moriu Kahariri was appointed Chief of Defense Forces and Lieutenant General John Omenda as the Vice Chief of Defense Forces. 
the changes in work leadership were effected in accordance to the KDF structure in which the outgoing chairperson, Mrs. Eileen Ogola, handed over the mantle to Mrs. Grace Kahariri, who in turn handed over the vice chair position to Mrs. Helen Omenda. Mrs. Ogola expressed a heartfelt gratitude to her fellow MWAC members and the office staff for their unwavering commitment to the course and support throughout her term, noting that incredible friendships were built along the way. In coming chairperson, Mrs. Grace Kahariri thanked Mrs. Eileen Ogola for her vision and noble projects which have benefited diverse groups among them youths, widows, and wives of both serving and retired soldiers. She pledged her commitment to further the mission of MWAC during her term and urged her fellow members to showcase team spirit and harmony for the betterment of the KDF families. MWAC founding chairperson Mrs. Tabitha Kibochi emphasized on the importance of bonding as women and being responsible for one another, especially during these moments of transition. Brigadier Sankale Kiswa, Commander Kenya Navy Fleet, presided over the graduation ceremony for senior leadership and command course participants at 15 Kenya Rifles in Mariakani. During the ceremony, Brigadier Kiswa congratulated the graduates for achieving a significant milestone, not just in the Kenya Navy, but also across Kenya Defense Forces. Brigadier Kiswa advised the graduates to be role models for their teams as their integrity and dedication will inspire future sailors and urge them to use their acquired knowledge to foresee potential maritime threats adapt to changing conditions. And in sports, Honorable Aden Duale, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, presided over the closing ceremony of the 44th edition of the Kenya Defense Forces Athletic Championship and the Chief of Defense Forces Bora Cup Challenge at Olinze Sports Complex, Langata. The three-day championship aimed to select a team to represent the Kenya Defense Forces at the Athletic Kenya National Championship scheduled for the 16th, 17th and 18th of this month at Nyayo Stadium. Formations and units from all three services participated with the championship aiming to foster the camaraderie, discipline and spirit decor among the Kenya Defense Forces fraternity. Moi Air Base secured victory in women's category, earning a total of 12 medals including 7 gold, 4 silver and 1 bronze, surpassing their rivals from Nanyuki and Mutongwe. In the men's category, Mtongwe emerged as champions with seven medals, including six gold and one silver, overcoming tough competition from Embakasi and Isiolo teams. Kahawa team excelled in the CDF Bora Cup Challenge. Honorable Duale, who graced the event, commended all participants for their dedication and hard work in the various sporting activities, noting that the athletes showed high standards of performance and a spirit of sportsmanship. He urged those selected to represent the KDF team to aim at retaining the national title and strive to be part of the national team at the upcoming Olympics Games in Paris, France. KDF recognizes the need for having a comprehensive stop sports development programs with the aim of producing elite world-class sportsmen and women in major disciplines while evoking the values of mass sports as an integral part of our physical fitness regime. Chief of Defense Forces General Kahariri congratulated the winners and pledged his support to the participants. He commended the officials and the technical team for organizing a successful event and thanked the event sponsors. Today's event was also to mark the culmination of the Bora Cup Challenge, uh, which has been on from 2021 to 2024, and it is to uphold mission effectiveness in everything that we do. Thank you for watching. We look forward for your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDA Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Kasim Ali. Goodbye.